looking to grow vegetables in Florida? Well, today I'm gonna cover five ridiculously easy vegetables to grow that are gonna provide you an abundance of food. Number one is gonna be Everglades tomato. If you're looking for a tomato plant that's a no fuss type of plant, Everglades tomato is the plant for you. It can deal with the heat, the sun, the humidity, and the pests of Florida and give you tons and tons of tomatoes. And unlike other tomatoes where you may struggle to get your tomatoes all the way to ripe, when it comes to Everglades tomatoes, you are gonna have so many tomatoes. You will be harvesting for months and months. When it comes to the flavor of Everglades tomatoes, they are sweet and bursting with juices. These make great add-ins to things like salads or pasta primavera. And if you're looking for a snacking tomato where you can just grab a couple each day, Everglades tomato is for you. And when it comes to deciding how many Everglades tomato plants you need, well, honestly, less is more. When it comes to Everglades tomatoes, they can grow over 10 feet tall and 10 feet wide. They are huge plants, which is amazing for you and me because that means we're gonna get a lot of harvest from just a single plant. Number two is gonna be Seminole pumpkin. Never heard of Seminole pumpkin? Well, no worries. This pumpkin is amazing. It can grow anywhere from half a pound up to 15 pounds. And what's amazing about it is it tastes just like butternut squash. So from butternut squash ravioli to butternut squash alfredo to just baking it like a butternut squash, this is a delicious pumpkin that you need to get into your garden. Seminole pumpkin works best when it's allowed to run on the ground because that's how it can tap into its superpower of being resilient to pests. Most squashes in Florida really struggle to hold off the pest pressure, but Seminole pumpkin's got a trick up its sleeve. Seminole pumpkins are great at rerooting at all their different nodes. So even if they get tacked in one section, no worries. They've put deep roots in so that they can keep on growing and produce a lot of pumpkins for you. With just a couple plants, you will easily get Get over 50 pounds of harvest in just one year. Number three is gonna be sweet potatoes. Yes, those same sweet potatoes that you can get from the grocery store, you can grow here in your garden. But unlike those northerners who struggle to get starts going, here in Florida, it is really easy to get sweet potatoes growing. Actually, sweet potatoes love growing here so much in Florida. In many locations in central South Florida, it can grow year round. And with just a couple potatoes starts, you can get easily over 20 to 40 pounds in one small area. I have found that sweet potatoes grow so well that they can actually become weeds in my own garden. So instead of just pulling up a weed, sometimes I pull up a whole sweet potato. And what makes sweet potatoes even more amazing is it's a win-win plant. Not only can you eat the tuber sweet potato, but you can also use the leaves as a spinach substitute to have a tasty treat in a smoothie or use them like a spinach in a saute. Number four is gonna be cucamelon. Never heard of a cucamelon? No worries. Oftentimes people are looking for those large cucumbers, but cucamelon, well, it's small. Cucamelons are amazing because they can not only withstand the heat, humidity, sun, and pest pressure of Florida, they produce a ton of these tiny little cucumbers. These tiny little cucumbers can be used in anything from salads to primaveras to you can even pickle them. Or if you're just like me, you walk through the garden and you pop them in your mouth fresh. Cucamelon grows so well here, well, you may not have to buy any seeds. You may just find it growing on a shrub already in your garden. Number five is gonna be Cubanelle peppers. Cubanelle peppers are popular all throughout the Caribbean and they are great at being very versatile for your garden. This thin wall pepper only has a little bit of a bite and can often be used to replace sweet peppers. So whether you use it fresh in a salad or you put it in a chili, it is a great addition to your garden. These spicy peppers that come from the Caribbean do an amazing job dealing with our very intense weather. And in Central and South Florida, you may find that your Cubanelles are actually producing peppers every single month of the year. What makes Cubanelles great is they can grow beyond even a single year. These ones I planted over a year ago and they are still producing loads of peppers. And there's another pepper that grows ridiculously well here. And the reason? It's native. And if you wanna learn more about native fruits and vegetables, go ahead and check out this video right here. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye.